recording. Recording in progress. <laughs> All right. So uh, one of the things I'm trying to figure out is, or I guess we're trying to figure out, is um, whether or not we want to form an LLC. Because one of the things about this is when you start doing business, especially when you start doing business seriously, you want to think about one, how you're going to do your taxes and two, how you're going to protect yourself just in case your business, you know, fucks up in some kind of way. Right. Um, So if we decide to do, you know, we just free hang it, you and I just go out and we just, you know, do our thing. um, There could be no risk at all. But if we either, I don't know, do something crazy or like have a really bad client that tries to sue us for everything we got. Right. As individuals, we have no protection for our assets. Now, granted, I don't have any assets right now. I don't know if you do yet, but um, there's still things like you still are at a higher risk to lose anything of value that you have if somebody sues you and you lose, right? Yeah. LLCs, you, you know, you kind of have that shield because the business entity is the target versus you as an individual, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so this could be, I, I, w- I would say in this stage, it's completely optional depending on yeah. how, you know, what we level, how we range the riskiness. But the second part of that is like, what's the end goal here? How far do we really want to take this? Like if we fail this goal miserably, right. Mm-hmm. Are we mm-hmm. going to give up Umber, Umber, Umber studios or Umber society or Umber anything and go back to doing things our own way as individuals? Are we still going to want to do any type of business together? Are we going to like, what happens then? So how I pictured it is that this 100-day challenge is a great way for us to kickstart things. For me, I feel like like I'm not, I'm not going to be ready to, to give up at le- for at least, um, without at least giving this a year, personally. Mm-hmm. So I think, personally, I think it would be worth the investment and in just protecting ourselves and getting um all of this stuff in order now rather than later because I I like this 100 day challenge is is like a fun experiment I guess you could call it but to me this is not where I want to end it so regardless of like for me I'm trying to overshoot the target for this 100 days but like if not we're just I just want to keep going uh towards whatever goals we have set for the next three months and the next three months after that. So for me, yeah, I guess that's it for me. I mean, cool. That's what I wanted to hear. Cause I, I I'm, I'm in this, like I, I, mentioned, yeah. I mentioned that from the get go, like I I'm serious about this. So if that's the mm-hmm. case, I'm totally down for going ahead and forming LLC and getting that mm-hmm. process uh, started because I feel like the more we commit to it, the more grit and skin, or not grit, the more skin sure. in the game we have, the yeah. It's just going to be that extra fuel to the fire that's already like, you know, powering this, you know, this machine. So, yeah. okay, cool. I agree. cool. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, anything else you want to go over while I have this thing recording? Um, you had said something earlier and I was like, oh, shoot, I wish you were, you were, um, oh, when we were like looking at Umber, like we did we had never like looked for other Umber websites to see if like it existed in other places. And we found out it kind of does, but. Oh, so you want me to like pull up some of the stuff that we saw? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. So let me switch screens here, share screen. I'm gonna go ahead and share my Google Chrome. Okay, so checking out our LLC options. One of the things that you should do whenever you're considering starting a business uh, or a brand or a product, like obviously research and make sure that the name you're going to take isn't trademarked or anything like that. So there's a couple of different ways you can go about that, right? Um, first thing you want to check is for like copyright or trademark. So, I mean, the easiest way is to do a, a trademark search. I forgot the exact website, but I know it's a .gov website. Uh, here it is. USPTO.gov. Uh, it's basically the patent office. Um, they will anything that any company and stuff that registers a trademark like Disney or Geico or Apple is going to be in here. Everything's recorded here. So when you go here, you can know if you don't find the name of the business that you're trying to create or the product or anything like that, typically you're in the clear. Um, so for example, I'm going to search the trademark database real quick. And I guess we can just search for like, you know, a basic word mark. How's it going, guys? Editor Joel here. Real quick, I had to interject because I realized throughout the rest of this video, I didn't do an amazing job of explaining the difference between a trademark and a copyright. So real quick, a trademark is going to be that which protects 
the identity or something that distinguishes a business or product from other ones, right? Versus a copyright protects specific pieces of work. So that could be art, that could be a product, um, that could be like image and music, things of that nature. So one important thing to remember is that uh, when it comes to trademarks, you can't have two businesses with the same name in the same class. And by class, that means like the industry or the niche of the industry that it's in. So for example, if I have a paint shop called Joel's Paint Bros, you, nobody else can open up another shop called Joel's Paint Bros. But if somebody decided to open an art studio or let's say a, uh, a photography studio that happened to be called Joel's Paint Bros or Joel's Photography Bros, that would still be allowed because they're in different classes or different sections of the industry. What you're gonna see as the rest of this video goes through is me uh, demonstrating how to search for a trademark if you're looking to see if there's another business that has the name that you're interested in and then how to find a copyright and make sure that you don't, if you're creating a product, you're not recreating something that has been already copywritten and then could be infringing on somebody else's, you know, ownership rights. And live or dead, plural singlet, that's fine the way it is. So I'm gonna type in, just go ahead and go all the way with Umber Society. Let's see if we see anything for that. Boom, no test records, excellent. Nobody has trademarked Umber Society. Um, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check the word Umber, submit query. So as you can see, there are, AR, there are, AR, there are a number of companies that have registered under the name Umber. Now, just because somebody else has taken your name or used it does not mean you can't trademark it yourself. Uh, usually they're having multiple companies of the same name. They're usually in different industries or uh, often in different, used in different contexts. And whenever somebody, at least from what I've learned, whenever somebody does submit a trademark, they submit like other documentation and info regarding it. Um, so for example, clicking this one, uh, you can see the day it was filed. So somebody started this last year. Okay, maybe it was, you know, us in another timeline or something. Um, and I want to see... Ah, so it looks like it's a, it's a magazine. So the owner is a Mike Nichols doing business as this DBA, uh, doing business as Umber Magazine. So somebody started a magazine and that's why they trademarked the name Umber. Um, but like I said, even if somebody uses the name, it doesn't mean you can't use it because you have multiple people here with the same name. So they're, you know, a magazine. This is HKS Industries. I want to see, this is a dead company. So that means they're not active anymore. I wonder if that last one was live. Mobile application software, mobile apps, money counting and sorting machines. They have one called Umber. Uh, they're under Umber Money Limited, private limited company in the UK. So that's cool. Umber's uh, been used, Umber Society, no one was ever used before. So I like that, it's a good sign. It means that it's gonna be easy SEO wise. Another thing you wanna check is the copyright. Um, I, know, I don't remember exactly how to check copyright or at least i don't remember the exact uh play. oh copyright.gov there you go let's see online records official public catalog and let's search for umber begin search so boom you got a, a bunch of different copyrights so just i guess just like you know trademarking even if you have you can have multiple people submit copyright uh registrations for a name now again usually they have other things that are accompanied with it so for example um, this one here has, I usually submit some other, uh, documentation, aqua and five other unpublished works. There is a, okay. So they didn't provide any other documents. Normally you'll see like logos. Um, you'll see like other like assets, especially if they're digital assets, like a, a word yeah. mark or a logo mark, uh, that'll be submitted as well. Umber music. So this looks like this was a copyrighted piece of music that was, uh, registered, Umber cheetah is a is visual material. And like basically the, the idea of this is like if you have some type of like digital item or really any item because music is not always digital, you copyright it so that way if anybody does claim to own it or use it in a way that are reserved that is reserved for people for the owner to be able to use. Like for example, if I create um, a photo and I copyright it and then somebody else steals my photo and posts it on Instagram as an advertisement being that I hold a copyright document for that, um, I can then sue them or, you know, do a ce cease and desist, or there's like a lot of different steps you can take to uh, have control over whatever it is you copyright. Um, so generally you want to make sure that obviously in whatever context you're using the name or whatever asset you're trying to copyright um, has not been copyright already. And in this case, I didn't see anything specific for 
Umber, at least in the format that we were planning on using it. Let's search for Umber Society and got nothing for Umber Society. So that's great. So I think we're in a pretty good uh good spot for specifically Umber Society, but even with Umber, um, I don't think we're gonna have a lot of issues. I don't think we're, ha- we're gonna have yeah. any issues. Yeah, we just gotta put in our stuff. <laughs> yeah. So whenever you start a business, yeah. whether you you know once you start your LLC, you don't have to go and submit your trademark and copyright immediately. Uh, well, I know you don't have to do the tra- the copyright immediately. I'm not 100 percent sure of the trademark. I gotta double check that. But um, in this case, this is something that uh, we need to go ahead and get started. Yeah. But uh, yep, that's all I got. Cool. Thank you guys for watching another video. This is another excerpt from our 50K in 100 Days Challenge. Uh, in this meeting, we specifically were talking about the differences between trademark and copyright. And we took this step as uh, one of the preliminary steps before we actually decided to go ahead and follow the LLC for our business. Uh, so stay tuned for more content. We got a lot coming out. It's been kind of difficult trying to keep up with everything, but we're figuring out our process. So definitely stay tuned for more content. Make sure you subscribe to both Nicole and I's channels, as well as follow us on Instagram and TikTok for the day-to-day updates, the behind-the-scenes content, and everything in between.